here at Adam. He brought me from Aram. That's that region. And then here it says here, uh, Balaam, son of Beor, of Pethor, of Mesopotamia. So, Mesopotamia is in Aram, which is nearby the river, which is the river, you know, the rivers, Euphrates and all that, that type of stuff, those rivers. Yeah, because Mesopotamia means... between rivers it actually means land between the rivers be between rivers and what land is that it's the land of Shinar in the land of Shinar there is where is the word Mesopotamia is that's the land of Shinar that's the the, the, the land of Shinar is where the uh, is between the la the land of rivers you know that's that that's that land sorry right okay now enough of that now going further which is then therefore for the Canaan. okay stay away from these people uh, John chapter 8 verse 44 year of your father the devil and the lust of your father you will do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him when he speaketh a lie he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and the father of it even in the movies what they call themselves the king of rock and roll they call themselves an uh, Egypt Kings of Egypt. They call themselves the Kings of Egypt movie and stuff like that. And look at the cast, just funny. And then they put him there as the only brother and another female sometimes. Let me see. No? What was this one? Yeah, and her in the movie. And notice when they put dark skinned women, they most they most of the time put Africans. Now, I don't know if this uh what was her name? I don't know if this African, yeah, this one. I don't know what she is. I never looked her up. I got no problem with it, but she doesn't look like us. She looked like a, she looked like a person, like a Hamite. She actually does look like a Hamite. And Hamites are not, uh, a, a contrary to popular belief, uh, Hamites are not always ugly, huh? okay? Because uh, this is what the, the nigger believes in. I'm, I'm going to call you what the fuck you are. Uh, they want to believe that this is the, the standard beauty. When you mixed up with a caucus, then they call you beautiful. Then you're the beauty. You know what I'm saying? A nigga, a nigga. Is, uh, he, he invented that shit. I have to say it like that because that's, that's what the fuck it is, man. I'm fucking pissed off, uh, angry. But anyway, that's this world. The upside down world, which the Heavenly Father is going to correct anyway. But yeah, this is basically the standard of this. This is a Kushite, if I'm correct. I looked her up one time, so... I looked at it and I was thinking about it like, huh, what is that? And she has a caucus male, so yeah, huh? So I saw her husband. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what's up. This is her. Yeah, I looked it up. I looked at it and I, and I thought that she looked like a Kushite. And what world? What is she? It's not even a Jake. Yeah, see, either today. No, it might be a Jake. I don't know, because she do have Jake amongst these people, but going off of basically the area she's a Kushite that's what's up but anyway that's what they call the standard the beauty and stuff like that whatever man and she's not mixed with caucus but she does have a caucus uh, sausage in her so <laughs> she's now she's now colonized <laughs> and so are her children so that's fun I ain't got no problem with that, man. Y'all, y'all just live y'all best lives and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And then when the Jacob descendants get their might and their power, then then they're going to live their best life. John chapter 17, verse 12. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept. And none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. So who's going to be the lost Israelites? The ones that are basically hanging around and following after these Edomites, their ways, customs, and mannerisms, and stuff like that. And if you follow after that, then you are going to be lost. Yeah? Because the Lord is not going to pick up 100% of the Israelites. He's going to pick up a small portion, the residue, the, the residue, the remnant of the nation of Jacob. Those are the ones that he's going to pick up. And ye of your father, the devil, the lust of your father, you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, just like Cain. And you want to lust after his mannerisms, then you're going to die after his mannerisms, which is fire, nuclear one. 
Thessalonians says the same thing here. For Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse three: Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And the falling away already did happen, because the Jews fell, the Israelites fell, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Esau is that man of uh, sin, and the son of perdition. And it shows you right here that he is the Eve. He beware of the beast man. <laughs> He's the devil's pawn, the pawn of the devil. That's what he is. The devil's pawn. He's his puppet. Like Satan uses him to do certain things upon the planet Earth. That's why everybody is sick. Because when you sin, the Lord is going to make you sick. And Esau is the one that puts the ingredients in your food to do what? To create mucus and therefore sick. That's why when you start to heal from a flu or whatever you had or an illness, then what is the first thing that starts happening to you? Ugh. <laughs> Oh man, it's coming out. Yeah, that's what's up. Why? Because it's the mucus that's keeping you sick. It's in your body, accumulated the whole year round. And then in the winter time, it sparks up. Because that's about the time that's about to really, oh yeah, about to swell, swole up. You know what I'm finna get swole up. And then it's starting to get thick up in your nose and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what they're doing. If you change your diet, you're going to see what's going to happen to you. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, you're going to get um, uh, less sick because you're sinning. You're eating things that you don't know what you're eating. Processed food. There's a lot of crazy stuff in there, you know? And that is the thing that makes you sick. Well, it's going to keep you sick too. I saw a documentary of the Dutch people. They said that every time you eat a sandwich, you're sparking up an allergy. Um, this is the video, wait. It says here that uh, 70 plus, because in the video they say 80, 70 to 80 percent, so 70 plus percent of our food is uh, ultra processed. Here it says here how ultra processed food makes us sick. Here, and, um, here. No, that's not what I want. I want the whole page. How ultra processed food are making us sick. And then here she went to the doctors and this doc look i don't i don't know if you can translate it into english i don't know but he says that every time you eat a sandwich he's going to show the sandwich thing with the uh, i know how you call it sprinkles yeah, this thing. So if you eat a sandwich with this, like a little hamburger size sandwich, you're going to spark up your insulin or something like that. He said something, but uh, you're going to spark up your stuff. You, basically, he said you're causing a mm, allergic reaction in your stomach every time you eat this. And why is that? Well, bread. Bread is actually compound of this well they put the bread in there z meal in english z meal in english starch so what do they do what is starch starch is a natural uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this looks natural to you motherfucker anyway meaning that it is a long chain comprised on um, com com comprising one type of molecule starches consist Stars consist of glucose molecules. Need a lawyer just to pronounce that shit. But anyway, what is that? What is that? Okay, they're not telling you straight right away like what it is. Just, just is sugar. No, it is sugar. Glucose, one of the what? One of a group of carbonides known as simple sugars sweet glucose so this glycose it's sweet that's what it means see they're using these fancy i didn't know what the fuck that meant glucose what the fuck is, what the fuck is that what the fuck is glucose man now you, now you can look it up It'd be like you got the internet man. it's not just for looking up porn you know <laughs> you, 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 you could look up words and trying to get yourself uh smart enough to actually teach others like hey, hey, hey. then they don't have to do all the reading you do it for them I mean, 
you're a minister, right? Well, you do it for them, and then they get to watch the, the video, not with popcorn. You know, this is not for entertainment's sake. But, uh, you know, you, you get to watch the video in uh, peace, in all liberty and beauty, uh, done by the work uh, of Dui uh, Haobash, by Haobash Ami Haoshai. Because I'm, I'm definitely not the only one that's uh, making videos like this. The other brothers, starting with the elder pastors in America, be making videos like this, showing you about the scriptures and things, food, all that type of there things, all those type of things there, right? Don't be drinking no damn sodas. Drink water. That's all you need. Now, if you want to drink a little sweet thing on the side, which I'm still not going to advise to you, but if you want to, you can do it. But don't do it every day. I'll, I'll definitely tell you that. Don't be doing that thing every day. Don't do that every day. That's just stupid. So, basically, glycose, which is this thing over here, is sugar. Glycose is a sugar. Okay, so what do they feed you? Starch. What is starch? Glyco molecules. What is glyco molecules? Sugar molecules. Motherfucker. That's what he's doing. He's had. He has these fancy words. <laughs> you gotta be a. You gotta be a lawyer. You gotta be the detective to figure out what this devil is doing, man. You know. That's why he's the beast, man. He will destroy you and everything inside. So next time when you eat a a, a a bread, that's why I don't eat bread no more. I want to, but they put this in there. The zet meal or the the starch. Because normal bread doesn't have that. They put it in. And then therefore, when they bake it, it's baked in there. Crazy. And that's what I got off of this guy. They make it their own tongue to fall upon themselves. But of course, these people that are doing these things, he, this guy, he's against it. Yeah, but he can't do anything. <laughs> um, this is how Big Pharma fools you. <laughs> yeah, I watched this one too. But this one is in the Dutch, if I'm correct. But he explains basically that uh, the doctor guy, he explains basically that... Wait, let me see something, sorry. He's explaining to her that every time you eat this, and still the bitch eat it, <laughs> but you know they're stupid. So, but anyway, you know, it's some, it, I, I was lusting for bread this morning, but I didn't eat it. I ate something else, even though I wanted to have the bread. I just ate some cheese. You gotta watch out with the cheese too. But yeah, I ate some cheese and uh, what else? Yeah. That's some green things. I think it was not not an avocado. Oh shit! I ate potatoes, which is also not that good to eat, you know. But I kept it real small, like a real small meal, and I didn't fall asleep right away. Cause if I eat too much, I'm asleep. That shows you that there's something in the food, man. So I try to not, not to eat too much and stuff like that. And even though you know the greediness is in you because you want to keep on eating. There's something in the food, man. It wants to make you keep on eating, man. Anyway, uh, I hope you are able to f watch this and then therefore put on subtitles. I don't know if you have English subtitles in America, but here you have Dutch clearly. <laughs> and so glucose trope, which which is yeah the Dutch for that thing and the glucose in America, but uh, glucose trope. So um, yeah, syrup. It says glucose syrup. That's that's what it says right there. It starts a uh, sugar. Starches are classified as complex carbs since they consist of many sugar molecules joined together. That's the bread. The bread is sugar. That's what you're eating, especially white bread, because he explained it here. You need to eat white bread um, for this so-called research thing that she was doing. He put the white bread for her, your blood sugar. Keert het lichaam daarop met een heel klein beetje ontsteking. He says like shit uh, on steak and look uh, remember this word so had liham that up and he'll clam beetje on steak and I'll I'll that Yeah, I know I didn't spell it correct but anyway So okay translate to English He says when you eat that thing, the bus sorry for my uh, cough, the body always reacts with a tiny bit of inflammation. 
He didn't put the always. The English didn't. Okay. Here. Always. So that's what it says. It didn't. It didn't translate it. Well, where's the always? Your mother. Didn't even do that. What? What the hell was that? It was supposed to. I. I, I don't need to do this. Oh, the always. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that, man. I read it, but I didn't even. I didn't even see. See, that that's how I read the Bible sometimes too, man. I just read, and I didn't even catch it. <laughs> then when I read again, I'm like, that that I didn't see that. I literally just had it right in front of you. So this is how I read the Bible. That's why you need to read multiple times because <laughs> you're not you're not gonna get it. I I, I need to read multiple times often. Uh, actually always huh. just like this word so the, the 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 body always reacts with a tiny bit of inflammation when you eat this so when you keep on eating that bread that tiny inflammation is not gonna be tiny anymore you know what I'm saying it's gonna be big it's gonna be humongous gigantically even you know and then therefore what's next what's next all that sugar Then, then you're going to get this. That's also explained in this video. That's also explained in this video. That's what you're going to get. If you keep on eating this. Perpetually. And it's not even uh, long. It's a few. It's, and this female explains that. All that processed food that you're basically eating here. The pizza and all that. And, 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 and the pizza and all that. That type of stuff right here. They show you what happened in, in the Netherlands. How people start to. Uh, eat processed food more more and more and more and more and more and then less of this eventually uh, nowadays in the 2020s is is this what they eat and back in the 70s is this what they ate compared to this f uh, fake food and then they ate they ate more better food and stuff like that but nowadays it's actually the other way around everybody eats less of this and they don't make their own food and they just go to the store and buy some quickly made food which is speedy, but uh, it br it brings your ass speedily to the death, uh, to the death, uh, you know, cemetery. It brings you to death, closer to death, faster, just like fast food. That's why they changed the name fast food to, from junk food to fast food, because if everybody start repeating the junk food, eventually you're gonna catch up. Like junk food, wait a minute, I don't want to eat this. This is junk. Well, uh, Esau got a brand new brand new brand new you got a brand new rebranding renaming of the word let's call it fast food yeah because it's made fast right with the quickness thereof Tip. and then everybody latches onto it not knowing that the original word of the the name of the word is junk food which is crap shit junk something that you should throw away that's what it is anyway so going on a few other scriptures yeah, you have your father, the devil. He's the son of perdition. This is the man of sin. That's Esau. And so it says here, basically, it says that um, let him not breed in great numbers. That's why the Most High is going to do this to him. Obadiah 1.18 And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord had spoken it. Numbers 24 and 20. And when I looked on Amalek, he took up his... And when he looked upon... Um, when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. Deuteronomy 25, 17. Remember what Amalek did by, uh, unto thee by the way, when ye were come forth out of Egypt, how he met thee by the way and smote the hindmost of thee, even all that were feeble behind thee. And thou was faint and weary and he feared and he feared not the heavenly father therefore so because he did that it shall be when Yahweh thy power had given thee rest from all thine enemies round about in the land which Yahweh thy power giveth thee for an inheritance to possess it that thou shalt blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven thou shalt not forget it we were supposed to do that and then Saul didn't do it but nowadays, it's, it's all it's all prophecy anyway. Because if they weren't here, all the wickedness would have been done by another 
people, another tribe of Esau. So, yeah, it's all prophesied anyway. But the point is that once that time comes, bye bye, Amalek. Job 24 20 and 4. 20 verse 4. Knoweth thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish ever like his own dung. <laughs> they, which have, they which have seen him shall say, where, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. Because Judah is going to take his place, his land. That's what's going to happen. So no more children for you, Esau. Once that time comes. Bye-bye. I often wonder what we're going to do to their women. Like, you know, because they can't create the house of Esau. They're done for. They're going to get their... I don't know what's going to happen to them. I mean, uh, yeah, we will see, man. Of course they're going to be... If, if there's no Edomite men anymore, <laughs> then there won't be no Edomite women because they cannot be born. So eventually, they're going to phase out also Jeremiah 51 25 behold I am against the old destroying mountain saith Yahweh which destroyed all the earth Esau he's the one it says here yay for he will make a desert of his home and yours that's what he's doing because he's poisoning the three essential things needed to sustain life itself which is water food air those are the three things that are essential to sustain life itself. And those things is what he destroys. <laughs> yeah, that's him. And I will stretch out my hand upon him. Upon thee, sorry. Upon upon Esau. Upon the destroying mountain, which is the destroying government, which is Esau. And roll thee down from the rocks and make thee a burnt mountain, nuclear fire. Revelation eleven eighteen, And the nations were angry and thy wrath has come. And the time of the dead. At that they should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants the prophets and to the saints and to them that fear thy name small and great and shouldest destroy them which destroyeth the earth Esau is the destroyer of the earth Moab does a great job doing it too Ammon also because all those spills are um, nobody's paying for it I mean like the the Japan nuclear waste in the water thing you have China. China is known as small, small, uh, small country or small land or whatever. And you have uh, what's that other place name? Uh, Russia, also a nuclear uh, spiller on the earth and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, Moab, China, will not be phased out of existence. Esau will, because he does do greater things. But in the book of Second Ezra, I think sixteen or fifteen. It shows you that Asia is a partaker with Babylon, their stuff. Yeah, that's why a lot of these Asiatic people, they boast of Esau. They really want to procreate with them. You know, make babies with them. Especially the females. They, they can't get enough. Can't get enough. Right, Psalms 50. I already read that. Second, uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Joel chapter 3 verse uh, 3 and they have cast lots for my people oh, no, I don't have to read. Let me see that. oh yeah yeah here that's what I want right because it says here that he he uh, yeah what it says? so it says yeah he will murder his brother to possess his brother's land <laughs> okay he did that with the natives yeah, Joel 3 and 1 For behold, in those days and in that time When I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem So the Lord is going to take away the captivity from us I will also gather all nations So this is in the end time I will also gather all nations And bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat Which is Jehoshaphat Which is Je the Heavenly Father's judgment And will plead with them there For my people And for my heritage Israel Whom they have scattered among the nations And parted my Land. He took our land. That's right there. Here. They took our land. They took our job. They took our land. And they've cast us. Okay. And they sold us into slavery. 
Is it? Okay, I already. Oh, here it was. I thought so. I thought I put it somewhere, but um, new creature. The the they should be shortened. Isaiah 13 and 19 and Babylon the glory of kingdoms the beauty of the Chaldeans excellency they uh, shall be as when the Heavenly Father overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah so the ancient Chaldeans they got destroyed until this day people don't even know what the hell <laughs> they got destroyed so bad you don't even know what the hell they are <laughs> but the, the, a simple a simple explanation for that is that uh, since um since uh, Abraham descended from like the Israelite descendants from the Chaldeans so then therefore the Chaldeans must have been Shemites then you know living amongst the uh, Hamites and the uh, from Cush and stuff like that Babylon and also of course Assyria which is also Shem the whole region over there was Shemites so it, well, it says here that then um, wait where is it here Judith no I don't want this one not that dope this one is better it's uh, more clear you know what, 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 what? Huh? oh sorry Judith 5 and 7 6 this people are descendant of the Chaldean descended of the Chaldeans well Chaldeans are a people and the Chaldees are is the area and it says descended so it you could say like it, they came from them or they came down from that place so yeah uh, but he is from Ur of the Chaldees so the point is Shemites were there and if you say that Chaldeans are Hamites then Abraham is a Hamite no no he is not <laughs> so yeah but let me just leave it at that the point is that in Mesopotamia you had the Shemites but I will say Cush was there too, so that's why I don't know 100%. It's not really in the scriptures like you can get it easy and stuff like that. But it indicates, just like how it indicates that Judah are the so-called Negroes. It's, it's an indication. It doesn't plainly tell you black people are the tribe of Judah. You know? And the Gedites are the tribe of the Native Americans. It's not like that. It's through the spirit you get it. You know? Right, through the spirit of the Lord. So yeah. So twenty. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pitch stand there. This is talking about the mod the modern day Chaldeans, which are the Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna read it for who they are. The modern day Chaldeans are the Edomites. Neither shall the shepherds make their fault there. Until this day, though that place over there in Mesopotamia, you know, uh, that whole region over there, no? where the Euphrates, Euphrates River is people are still living there until this day you have Arabs pitching their tents there unto this day so it's clearly not talking about that one but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures and owls shall dwell there and satire shall dance there okay so I don't have to read the rest Isaiah 47 and 1 come down and sit in the dust of virgin daughter of Babylon sit on the ground there is no throne O daughter of the Chaldeans they are the daughter of the place called Babylon that the city which was a wicked city with a lot of idol worship and a lot of confusion and stuff like that that's exactly America because there you have men being females so you have crazy shit there I don't even want to mention all that there you have a massive confusion you have men over women all that day, you know, uh, the most high shall uh, make a new thing on the earth. A uh, woman shall come past a man. So then, therefore, sometimes I'm, I, I, I often actually I get angry, but sometimes I'm thinking to myself like, no, that's how the Lord created it. What I need to do is basically uh, bite my, not my tongue, uh, strap, strap in the seat and and buckle up, because you're gonna be for a hard, tough ride full of irritation and, and agitations and stuff like that and that's the same thing that happened to the Lord Jehovah Shai they were smacking him spitting on him uh, pulling his hair you know uh, hitting him in the face you know uh, whipping him he, he had to suffer he was suffering and the Lord said you're gonna go through some suffering too whether it be mental or physical you know now Lord willing he's he's not gonna pass he, he's knocking us up uh, uh, knocking us out mentally fighting against you and stuff like that uh, by the things that you see in the world 
and then you look at it and then it's messing with you in your head because <laughs> you're angry but you can't do anything and you shouldn't right so they are the virgin daughter of that place named Babylon sit on the ground there is no throne oh daughter of the Chaldeans yeah they are the daughters of the Chaldeans now they model themselves after the Chaldeans were which were a bunch of powerful witches a very powerful people by the way actually for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate uh, Nebuchadnezzar was a Chaldean uh, let me see here Esther, oh, sorry, sorry, Esther I'm thinking about Esther. now I was just thinking about the king of Esther because he called Esther his uh, his sister his sister my sister but he was married unto her so uh, but that was another king sorry anyway so it says here Psalms chapter Psalms chapters 30 100, 137 and 7 Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. They wanted to kill us. They want to exterminate us, by the way. Raise it means in a like uh, erase, completely destroyed. They wanted to exterminate us. They wanted us to be exterminated by the Babylonians, because the Babylonians were the ones that kept, could put us in slavery. O oh, daughter of Babylon, see, they are the daughter of Babylon, the Edomites. They are the daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. That's the, we will pay back. We're going to be happy to pay you back too once that time comes. We're going to be real happy. I have met so many Jakes, man, that I don't know. It's like, you, you know, we shouldn't do the you, 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 We shouldn't hurt them. I'm like, yo, what? That's why the spirit of the Lord is going to be put upon us. We're not going to harm them ourselves. Because I, I, sometimes I see these little... These little Edomite girls and stuff, they're very friendly toward me. <laughs> I'm not picturing me grabbing them and smashing them against the stone. I, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking. But the other motherfuckers that hate me, I know, they hate. They hate too, man. You know? The little fucked up kids. Those are the ones I have no problem in my head. I'm already doing it. Like, bam! Because they anger me. You know? But the other ones, they don't anger me. <laughs> Little girls looking at you saying hello, hi, hi, yeah, hello, with their little tiny voices and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not trying to kill you, kid, you know, so yeah, but anyway, so, uh, so the Lord is gonna have to put the spirit on us, like, yo, smash them, you know, so, but everyone will get what they deserve, so yeah, just like how we and our children got smashed against the stone. Because we broke the commandments of the Lord and did a lot of evil things. And therefore our children were smashed against the stone. And given to alligator bait and stuff like that. But but the Lord did say that they went overboard. They was not allowed to do all those things that they was doing. They went overboard with it. That's why Esau is going to get exterminated. Because he did overboardish things. The heathen nations, yeah, they did their little thing thing. They're going to get food proof too. But they're not going to get exterminated. Because they, uh, compared to Esau, <laughs> they didn't do as much as Esau, man. You know, uh, Revelation chapter, hmm. what was that, what was that again? No, it was four. Revelation chapter six, verse four. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given uh, to him that said thereon to take peace from the earth. That's Esau. He was set up to basically take peace from the earth because he's the harbinger of death. He's set up to take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And what do you do with a great sword? You're not gonna. You're not gonna. You're not going to do this with a sword. Put some butter on a bread and put it all nicely fit together and stuff Meal. like that. That is niks anders. Set mail. That is nothing more than. Dan hele lange ketens van. Sugar. So set mail. This thing. Thing is sugar. Let me see something. What is it? Translate. No. Starch is nothing more than a than the long chain of sugar molecules. That's what you're eating. That's why you should stay away from bread. 
because they put stuff in there that you don't know what it is man you're not supposed they're not they're doing what they want because they want to harm you everybody knows though not that well not every no the majority of the planet earth doesn't know that the bread is tampered with sometimes you got pork hair You got swine hair and surprising ingredient alert. There's human hair and store hair, a store bread, if I'm correct, right? Yeah, human hair and store bought bread. Yeah, store bought bread. So when it comes in a package, you can bet your ass there's hair in there. And sometimes there's pork hair. You got, let me see, you got the pig's bristle, which pig's bristle is is what it's pig's hair pig's bristle this is pig's hair you got to watch out for these things also you know those things that you might brush your hair with this well jigs don't brush their hair I'm, 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 i don't brush my hair you know but it's there you might want to you know i do have this but i clean um like the faucet or something like that I just clean stuff on the ground with with the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. chlorine in this thing liquid yeah stuff like that but that's yeah I have actually never checked it out. I never checked because it, it doesn't say anything. It doesn't say anything if it's pork or what. It doesn't say anything. You know, you just buy it and I'm going to use it to clean stuff anyway. So I'm not using it for my body or something like that. It's for the tiles on the the bathroom floor. The tiles. That, that's what, it's, what I use it for. So, And also the sink. So, yep. Okay. And it should pick pork bristle, pig bristles, and you have human hair sometimes. And then you have also feathers, duck feathers, because they're immortal also. Uh, duck feathers is the only thing that would stay just immortal. It's immortal. Basically, if you just put it in a place, it will never go away, never disintegrate. Hair is the same thing, it will never disintegrate. And therefore, they put it in the bread. Why? So that the bread doesn't spread the fungus after a day. Because I know when you when I buy the the flat like Lebanon, Lebanon. If I buy this from the Arabs, yeah, I one day it's gone. Yeah, I'm telling you. If I just leave it there, maybe two days, it's fungus stuff. If you put it in the fridge, you can keep it for a week or something like that. A little bit more, but I don't like old bread anyway. So yeah, and uh, so if I was to eat bread, I would rather eat this one, but you gotta watch out because they package it now. God damn it. Yes, they do, because the caucus, the Edomites, they took this and then they started putting it in their uh, supermarkets and it's pre-packaged. So <laughs> you, you can figure out what type of flour they used. They used the flour with the set mail in it, motherfucker. They used that one, you know? That, 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 that's what I think. They they put all these things in it, uh, all, all all the other no, wait not these things, they put all the other things in it and stuff like that you know so yeah well, the Israelites shall eat their bread defiled among the heathen right, but if you know it can make you more angry. Very irritating, irritatingly angry, you know. Yeah, I don't have to read that one. I already read that one. And. Um, Revelation chapter 20 verse 3 and cast him down Esau which is uh, uh, Satan and the devil devil means deceiver Satan means adversary he deceived the whole world and he's an adversary toward the whole world because he destroys everything and anything and if you just let him loose for a season he is let loose for a small season but if you let, let him loose for a big season everybody would be dead including him and he'll kill himself because he knows there is no repentance for him. He knows there's no repentance for him. He knows he's about to not be here anymore. So he's like, fuck it. 
Okay, okay let, me, let me see. I still got to read it. Revelation chapter 12 and 12. Verse 12. 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heaven, saying ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath. Why? Because he knows what he had but a short time. That's why. He knows he's about to not be here anymore. He knows the scriptures. He knows the scriptures before us. A lot of our people over there, <clears throat> starting in America, we didn't know. We didn't know. And then the, prop, the Heavenly Father rose up, raised up the prophets in America, starting with the other apostles on there of Great Millstone. And then they started to spread this truth, and now it's here in Europe. It's in, it's in Australia, the, the, far, the farthest way from America as possible. The furthest way from America as possible. And unless you want to fly over the sea to get to get that, 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 that you don't want to do that. You're going to run out of um, oil if you do that. Because that's on the other side of the world. Oh, well, you're going to take longer if I'm correct. But yeah, yeah, the earth is not flat. So they fly, when they fly from Australia, they fly over land and then over the sea, a small portion. They don't, don't go all the way around the world and then hit this one. That's going to be too far. You're going to die in the water over there. <laughs> You're going to run out of gas. <laughs> Goodbye. You're going to join the fishes. You're going to turn into Leviathan. <laughs> His food. Because <laughs> the fish is going to eat you eventually. You're going to start rotting. And then they're going to find their way into the plane. Because it's going to be flooded with water. There, There's a hole somewhere. And shrimps, for example, they eat dead flesh. That's why you shouldn't be eating shrimp. Because you're eating an animal that eats dead flesh. Crabs also eat that flesh. What do crabs eat? What do, what do, what do crabs and shrimp eat? They eat that flesh. Most crabs are scavengers, eating whatever they can find and catch, whether it's dead or alive. They eat everything. Uh, shrimp do the same thing too. Anything and everything. <laughs> you should not be eating this thing, man. Yeah, shrimp are actually capable, 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 capable of eating anything and everything. Shrimps are scavengers and mainly help in decomposing. Scavengers or decomposers are organisms that feed on dead organic matter, and they play a very important role in maintaining the continue continuity of the food chain. Of course, they eat dead animals. They eat dead plants too. <laughs> they eat everything dead, because they are the natural cleaners. They are the natural pigs of the uh, sea. You need them. You shouldn't be eating them. You need them around to clean up the filth of the sea, because if they are not there anymore, then that. Then, man. Then therefore. You, uh, the, the, the dead animals will just mess up the ocean because the ocean already stinks. I don't know if you know this, but if you go near water, you can smell it. You can smell the fishes. <laughs> That's how a fish smells, you know. He's always in the water, but he still stinks. Yeah. So. That's a fish. Uh, Revelation 20 and 3 and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till a thousand years should be fulfilled and after that he must be let loose a little season not too much and that little season has been now what uh, 532 years something like that he went to America in 1942 and he's ruling until this day so I think he is the longest ruling empire upon the planet Esau. That's why the Lord has given him so much time. Like, have fun. You're not going to be here anymore. <laughs> have fun. Just do what you got to do. You know, go deceive the nations that are in the four corners of the earth. And then the fire and the Lord is going to set your ass on fire once that time comes. So that's the scroll the 26th scroll and the 6th verse of Esau of this movie actually of this movie but this pertains on Esau now I can get more scriptures but I wanted to do like a 15 minute video but then the fun kicked in so I did a little longer 
there's many other scriptures that you can grab also because you know that's why we have multiple minds you know that then and then therefore another brother might get these type of scriptures oh, oh yeah I remember this one but I just got what came to my mind you know which wasn't a lot so there's many more scriptures that you can add on to this and break down this whole thing but beware of the beast man Esau for he is the devil's pawn um, that's I think it was Genesis 4 excuse me Genesis 4 <coughs> Shin Salah <coughs> sorry Sin shall to him shall be thy yeah so it says Genesis 4 6 and Yahweh said unto Cain why art thy wrath why are you angry and why is thy countenance fallen <laughs> why are you face so sour if thou do as well shall thou not be accepted say if you do good are you not going to be accepted of me and even the people of the world but the Lord is going to make you small among the heathen you're not going to be accepted because you're wicked and if thou doth well doest not well sin lieth at the door and unto thee shall be his desire you're the pawn of sin you're the pawn of Satan Satan lusts after you that's what that's that's my baby that's that you that's Satan is your is the baby daddy of Esau that's your daddy that's your father that's you're his baby basically it's almost like he birthed you <laughs> you are the daughter of Satan as a whole nation and we are the daughter of uh, Yahweh as a whole nation and and thou shall rule o and, and thou shall rule over him basically you're gonna be there's a breakdown that I got wait wait right because he's that man of sin Sin latches yourself upon him, you could say. <coughs> now it says here, um, sorry, Psalm 73 and 3. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. Verse 5, 73 and 5. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. Because if a lot of people did the sins of Esau, they'd be put to death. But Esau is the one, he can just, he's successful in it. <laughs> he's the greatest. <laughs> Therefore, pride compassed them about. Violence covered them as a as a garment, as a chain. And a, wait, wait a minute. Therefore, pride compassed them about as a chain. Violence covered them as a garment. Let me see something here. Mm -hmm. In the ways of the Lord, and we be well with you. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go straight as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Esau. Uh, Psalms 58 and 3. Psalms 119 and uh, first 133. Order my steps in thy word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Esau. Dominion. Well, sin has dominion over him. And basically, he's the one that walks around with it. And he carries it very dope. He's the one that's creating it all. He is the... Um, He is that man of sin. He, he, he is the man of sin. He's the son of perdition. That man of sin shall be revealed. That's Esau. And he is lost to self towards salvation. There is none for him. And he's that man of he's the devil's pawn. He's the devil uses him. That's his pawn. And he's the harbinger of death. He's the he's the harbinger of death by being the creator of doubt. And you know that when Peter started to doubt, he started to sink and then the, in the water. And then therefore, that should indicate to you that if you doubt in this truth, you know, you're going to sink. And Esau is the creator of doubt. He comes up with, for example, here. Um, He comes up with elaborate bullshit 
He says here, Now, a new study published by two researchers from the University of whatever in the United Kingdom has suggested that the parting of the sea can also be explained through meteorological phenomena. A negative storm surge caused by a medicine, a wind, sit down, tile, renaissance of rossy waves, what the fuck. The point is that they're trying to make it seem as if, you know, they're trying to create doubt. And you will have a stupid negloid that will subscribe to this idea. <laughs> Believe me, there's some dumb niggas. <laughs> They are some dumb ass niggas, boy. They regurgitate. Y'all I met a few, man. Don't th don't think I'm just laughing and making stuff up. I'm I'm thinking of a few dudes right now. <laughs> they just funny, man. I'm telling you, man. Hey man, I met a few funny niggas, man. Funny black people, as you say. Funny dumb ass niggas. Just thinking about them makes me laugh. I remember this dude one time. He came up trying to be smart. And then <laughs> and then I said he was all about he he said, Yeah, 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 that's a white man's book. You know, the Bible is white, you know? And then he goes on to explain about the science. <laughs> they, they are detached from the world, man. They are detached from like reality. I'm telling them like, yo, that book that the science thing that you popping up with, my man. <laughs> What are you talking about, man? That's their culture. That's their, that's their shit. And I say, no, 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 science. Science is no other nation uses that. Only them. Belief. as a belief system, which you're doing right about now. You know? But it's, it's, it's just funny, man. It's just funny. How jakes are just... They're just funny. Uh, science claims it figured out how the sea was parted. A miracle! <laughs> no, really. There is a scientific explanation for the parting of the sea, the Red Sea, in the time of Moses and stuff like that. You know, the mythical, they call it the myth. The mythical parting of the Red Sea triggered by Moses outstretched hand or an unusual chain of perfectly natural causes. Hmm? Hmm? They want to put, or both, they want to put that doubt up in there. There was like, he waited for the, you know, whatever, maybe every year, but whatever. This is his uh, nonsense. Every year, at a, and at a point in time, there will come a wind that will keep the water split for <laughs> X amount of hours so that people can walk through on dry land, right? On dry land, because it says dry land. So the wind was so powerful, it dried the land under with the water, where the water was upon. Uh, under the water. Yeah. Where the water was upon. Yeah, okay, right. But you still have Jake's that would subscribe to this nonsense they would believe it they would lash onto it and hold de for dear life they would hold on to it and if you tackle it they're gonna say no you're not a scientist you know the scientists did studies I mean, what do you do in the in in the whatever the hell you are <laughs> basement or whatever i don't know where you are but 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 the scientists they got the money they got the, 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 the research they did research man you need to believe them yeah so you have jakes like that and it's just funny you know, I haven't thought about that guy in a long time. I've thought about a few, actually. I haven't thought about it. So that's why I burst into laugh because all the funny things come coming in my head. How they acted and how they was talking. Really secure of Esau, but then called the Bible a, a white man's book. I'm, I'm like, I don't get that. Like, you're denouncing the Bible because you said it's a caucus book, but then you flip around and boast about science and stuff like that. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, the, 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 the. The, the lack of knowledge of the Israelites are is just hilariously funny. America sign claims that we're going to open up. Okay, cool. Right, I'm going to put all these links in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. I will have to cut this video into. Yeah, so with that, I'm going to say Shalom.